What's going on guys? Mr. Taylor Reach Mods 101. And today I'm gonna be teaching you all how to jailbreak iOS 4.2.1 with Green Poison. It is very simple to do. But you wanna go to this website, which will be in the description below, and you wanna scroll on down. My bad. To see I for iOS firmware 4.2.1. If you're on Windows, hit download if you're on Mac OS X you want to hit download here so we're gonna hit download on Windows because that's my firmware and it should take you to a blank page like say about blank and whatnot and it should start your download down here now it's got a little one beside it because I've already downloaded it one time but I was just downloading again to make sure it was all good now make sure it downloaded if you're in Google Chrome just go over to the little download section down here which show all downloads and um... It, there it is, it's right there, it's downloading still um... it should like be basically done but I've already got it downloaded right there so once you've got that you can just close out Internet Explorer because you will need to be connected for the internet for this now you want to go to wherever you've downloaded your green poison and you want to go and unzip the file sorry I'm on my iPod camera normally I have a screen recorder but the trial ended which sucks and I thought I'd just do it on this anyway so that way you can see you don't need to do worry about that I already have that is just something that I just tried to download but I already had it downloaded so once you have it downloaded you just want to go ahead and extract it extract to blah 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 and you should get this folder you want to go all the way into it and that should not be there so I'm just going to go back in and extract it and just forget about that I'm just extracting it again for the safety. I'm go to Green Poison and a black window. Normally the black window is gone by now, but my wonderful computer is going to just be awesome. So this is going to show up, and then that, my friends. Sorry about that. Then you want to hook up your iPod Touch to your computer with the USB cable which I will be doing right now I'm going to make sure it's connected it's all connected, we're good now you want to go ahead and power off your iDevice just want to go ahead and power it off oh, it went my iPod, crap but once you've got it all powered off and whatnot, you want to click prepare to jailbreak DFU mode, which I'm not going to show that because I can't do that and hold the camera. What you, so what you're going to do, hold the sleep button for 3 seconds, hold the sleep button and home button for 10 seconds, and then just hold the home button for 15 seconds. Home button for 15 seconds. If you get confused on how to do it, just Google it. It's all over Google. So, yeah. I will be right back after I got into DFU mode, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got my iPod Touch into DFU mode, and it should come up ready to jailbreak, and it should be in DFU mode, which should should be powered off. Everything's good, and you'll see jailbreak. Now, whenever you're ready and you believe in yourself, you want to hit. And now you're that little bar down there should start showing up soon. There it goes. All right. It please don't be go crazy right now. It's perfectly fine. Just don't touch your iPod. Don't press anything. Don't unplug it or nothing. All right. Perfect. We have white lettering. We're good. Now you just want to let your iPod do what it's doing. Don't unplug it or anything just let your computer work and let your iPod work 
you can see it is jailbreaking the iDevice. And once it's finished, you should get a whole lot of white text. There it goes. You got a whole bunch. Look at all that. Just don't be alarmed. Everything is good. Do not worry. As you all can see, it is jailbreaking my iPod Touch. Just let it do its thing. Don't be worried. Everything's awesome. And as you all can see on the computer, jailbreak complete, but the white lettering still continues. You can leave it hooked up to the computer, but you don't have to. There it goes. Oh, look at that. There it goes. The Green Poison logo. There it is, folks. Green Poison logo. Right on the iPod. That's how it boots up. And now we are done on the computer. You can press quit. And you're done on the computer. Now it's all up to the iPod Touch. You're just going to let that start up. It might reset a couple times. Just It's just loading up, getting used to it. As you all can see, it's the standard Apple logo right now. And then it spins around. Then it becomes Green Poison logo. Your iPod might take a few minutes to boot up. And it shouldn't. If you just heard it go bing. There it goes. You've successfully jailbroken your iPod touch. Oh, dang it. My bad. Click something. So you can see you're going to have an app on there called Launcher. You just want to go ahead and click on that. Sorry about that. And you'll see Loader, Launcher, my bad. And it should load up. So you can see you have options. You want to click options. Wrong one. Loader. Okay. Whoops. Okay, loading sources. Just want to give it a few minutes, a few seconds. Also, note that your iPod has to be connected to Wi Fi for this to work. So we're going to let it load up. Here, I'm going to connect it to the Wi Fi again. I think I have to re put in the password because I shut off my device. Hold on. I'm just going to go to Google. Put in my password. Yes, you want to make sure you're connected to the device. That was my fault. Go ahead and put in my password here. Connect myself to the interwebs. Once it's all connected to the internet, then it should work. That was my fault. I didn't think anything about that. And there we go. We have internet access. So now you're good. Now you want to load up the launcher app. Loader app. Loading sources. There you go. Cydia. You want to go ahead and click that. Cydia. And you'll see. And you want to click install Cydia. It will show up downloading. And it should be downloading to your Apple device. And um, once you've downloaded that you're basically ready to go um, after it's downloaded you should be able to go under Cydia and choose who you want to be um, in that like hacker or stuff like that and you can hack games with this you can do a ton of stuff so I see it's like success you want to back out and there it is guys Cydia sorry my iPod shut off there and it should, don't worry, it's probably going to reboot the first time you install City and exit out a loader app. It's precaution. Just to make sure everything went well on your iPod Touch as the jailbreaking process went through. And there's the Apple, or Green Poison logo on your iPod. By the way, a good thing about Green Poison 
is you can download little loader apps like that from the Cydia store. You can download tweaks for the loot boot logo. I'm probably going to find a Black Ops 2 one, but you just want to go ahead and unlock your device. And I click something again. And there you go, guys. You have Cydia, and everything should work on it now. Installing file systems. This is going to show up the first time you load up Cydia. But um, I'm going to end this video now because I don't want it to be too terribly long. But um, after this loads up, you'll be able to choose hacker, blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you all what you need to do. And if I'm not mistaken, your iPod might reboot after you choose that. I'm not sure. But after you get it done, if you don't want that loader app on there anymore, you just go up there, go to options, and it'll say remove loader. You just want to go ahead and remove that. Now, this has been a first ever jailbreak tutorial by Mr. Hillary Smiles 101. Hope you've all enjoyed the video. Hope that helped you out a lot. And two special things about Jailbreak, uh, you can get free apps and free music, and you can do a whole bunch of tweaks on it. I'm probably going to be doing some tutorials on tweaks and whatnot, but go subscribe to my channel, comment, rate, subscribe, and go check out my Facebook channel, which will be in the link in the description below. Have a nice day, guys, and I'll see you later.